these chicks hatched over the weekend and today is Wednesday. So I think the last one hatched on Monday. The last two. These are out of hens that are 50% lemon cockroach hen and 50% Swedish flower hen. And then those hens are crossed back to Lemming, Kaku, Niter, Heiner roosters. And these are new roosters that I picked up. Um, they're probably related to the hens, but they're not closely related. And so the chicks are 75% Lemming, Kaku, Niter, Heiner and 25% Swedish Lower Hen. And I was... I was excited that I got two white ones, which means there's two that are going to have the Lemon Kaku Niederheiner markings. But to my knowledge, they're not actually full-blooded Lemon Kaku Niederheiner. The roosters in the barn are so rude, talking over me all the time. But it will be interesting to see how these chicks grow. And one of the two hens that laid these eggs is broody right now. So I'm excited to see the broodiness and that characteristic show up in the, in the Swedish flower hen, Lemon Kaku Niederheiner pairing. Because who isn't always wanting a good homesteading bird? And to, me, and to me, homesteading is also about being sustainable and not needing to have to have electricity or incubators to hatch eggs. Although that's a fun way to go about it. A broody hen helps you become more sustainable. You can learn more about the chickens at Country Girl Heartbeats Farm or CG Heartbeats Farm at www.don't.com.